What does it mean to be a prairie artist? Della Conroy tells us about her experiences in the art world and shows us around her studio. I've lived in Hancock since I got married, about 43 years ago. And before that, I lived in Alberta, Minnesota, which is just down the road. I, I consider myself to be a prairie artist because that's where I live, and that's where I've always lived. I've never traveled anywhere else, and I just only paint what's here. I was very happy to be chosen to, to display in Horizontal Grandeur because it's a great honor, especially since it's right here in my, my, in my home, you know. It's nice to be part of the show. Horizontal Grandeur is a show that's put on by the Historical Museum in Morris. And it's based on a poem by Bill Holm, who was a Minnesota um, poet. And it tells about all the beauty that's on the prairie. And people who live in a, one of the prairie states, or, or who have a little prairie in their state, can enter the show. And so people from all over the country enter this show. It's just a wonderful show. Well, I have an art studio, and that's where we're sitting right now. And um, I got it about five years ago when the, when the residents decided to sell it. And it used to be a carriage house for the Erickson home next door. And so now it's um, an art house. <laughs> My bird has been really quiet now, but he's flying around here somewhere. I think he went back in his cage. Nope, he's looking at himself in the mirror. <laughs> That's his favorite pastime. He keeps me company. Well, I use watercolor. Well, I started out in oil when I was a kid, and I do that some. And I use watercolor, pastel, acrylic, oil pastel, collage, everything I can get my hands on. I'll do pastel for a while and then get tired of it and do something else for a while. So I like to switch out. And then some, some subjects call for a different media, you know. Like something new that I'm doing is watercolor on Yupo, which is a plastic paper. And so the watercolor doesn't soak into the paper. It sits on top and you get all kinds of cool effects. And I love doing that. Prairie really inspires me because um, there's so much variety in the seasons and the colors and just subtle beauty. I do take photos when I'm out. I try to um, paint an expression of what I felt when I was there. Right now I'm painting four seasons in preparation for a show I'm doing at the Wilmer Area Arts Council in um, August. And so I'm, paint, I'm trying to paint four seasons in every medium. <laughs> well, I'm doing this pastel painting, and I usually um, uh, find a frame, because I've got lots of frames, and people give me a lot of frames and I try to do something that goes with that frame. Size-wise, mood-wise, and so I thought a little moody Page Lake scene would be good with this frame, and pastel is perfect for a foggy day. So I'm gonna try and paint fog. So I just keep going like this, and a pastel painting doesn't take very long. And I love pastel because you can change your mind, correct mistakes. I, I could just wipe this whole thing off with a brush and start over if I wanted to. Watercolor, different story. Once you put the paint on the paper, there it is. You can't really get it off. But this is so fast. It just takes no time at all. Doesn't it look fun? It's fun when everything's going right. See how easy it is to make grass, and anybody can do this. There's just absolutely nothing to it. Helps to have a teacher so you can get started. And then as soon as you gain your confidence, you can just take off. My friend and I just started um, something called Panache, and it's, it involves teaching art classes. We 
taught a class for children this summer and we had 23 little kids who came here in three sessions and we had art, we had music, and we had food. <laughs> and right now I'm teaching a class, a beginner's watercolor class for adults and we're doing the same thing. We are all born with the same talent and talent isn't a gift that, that only certain people have. We all have it. Talent means ability or power and we all have the same abilities or powers. And the, the thing that separates us as individuals is that we take a different interest in things. You know, some people aren't interested in drawing and painting. They're interested in shooting baskets. As a result, they're gonna get very, very good at that. And people call that, mistakenly call that talent. No, it's practice. So I hope people realize that they can do, if they wanna paint, they can. If they want to sing, they can. Everybody, we can all do these things. It's just another form of expression.